Hello, this is Goddess 7, and today we are going to go hack texture hack Super Mario 64 DS. So first thing you're going to need is D Super Mario 64 DSE and ROM to hack. I just made this folder for convenience here, so let's go ahead. Open your ROM. And just open any random level. Now, first thing, I'm going to show you how to hack the folder, this level's textures. Like, say I imported this model, but then I'm like, oh no, I want to change the ground texture, but I forgot the scale. So first, you're going to need to hit the 3D model and import other model. Then you're going to go to data, stage, and then... Bob Bomb's Battlefield is the Bomb Hay map. It shouldn't be too hard to tell what it is. And you're going to click on the BMD file. Then hit Texture and BTP Editor. And you can see all the names of the different textures here. But where's the grass we're looking for? We're looking for uh, the grass texture that we want to replace. And here it is, grass. And we're going to hit export. And I'm just going to save it as grass.png. And if we look at the properties, it's a 64 by 64 image. And we need to know how big it is. Because we're going to make it that size. Now, the imported model could be a different size, but. To make sure it all replaces correctly, I recommend that you make it the exact same size. It's optional though. I'm just going to do it. You know. And let's replace it with something like a something like this. And I'm just going to call this grass new.jpg. Okay, now when that's done, you're going to want to open your image with paint.net. And first thing I want to do is resize it to the 64 by 64. Texture is this big. You can't have huge textures. And now I'm going to just save it as a PNG image. It's best to have PNG images. Now you don't need to index the image using GIMP, but it's recommended. So for the sake, I'm just going to replace it and hope it works. And if I look, the grass texture is now replaced and everything is the way it should be and then after that's done I can go you'll see that no changes has taken place but if I reopen the level here you'll see that Bob on battlefield now uses my grass texture now let's go inside the actual level and see if it works and as you can see, the texture is imported correctly. And we can move around like usual. Everything else is the same except for the grass texture being our new texture instead. Of course, everything else that's not replaced is its own different texture. And you would have to edit those too in order for them to change. But for now, if we look, we just have our custom texture and that's good. Now, let's say for example, we want to do some more, something more extreme. We wanted to change the texture of these Goombas and make them um, red Goombas for whatever reason. Well, we're just going to go to 3D model, no sorry, object, 
and for objects you can just hit replace model. Once again texture in BTP and you'll see the texture for Goombas right here. Now I'm going to export that as Karibo because the Japanese name for Goomba is Karibo. Now let's open the this. I'm going to open it with GIMP this time. And once the image is loaded in GIMP, hang on, let me zoom it in, make the window bigger, you'll see that. Basically, it's your standard Goomba texture. And now let me image, make some adjustments like tool, colors, hue, saturation. And I'm going to just change the hue to like red. So I'm going to want these Goombas to be more reddish. You can also adjust the saturation, make them more reddish. Okay, there we go. Then hit OK. And I'm just going to turn it to indexed. You're not, sometimes you're not going to want this at 256. But sometimes you're going to want to narrow down the palette. Like sometimes you'll want 8 or like 16. I'm just going to, want to do 16. And you can see that looks kind of ugly. So usually you don't have to index the image. But if it causes problems in game, you're going to want to export the image. And once it's done we have our new Goomba texture here. Now I'm going to go back in the editor and replace selected. I'm going to load the new one and now you can see the image is reddish. Now just X out of that and X out of this as well. And let me reload the level. Wrong level. And yeah, you can see that the Goombas kind of look weirder. The editor sometimes goofs up on how objects should look. So now let's go in the emulator and see how they actually look in game. And we're in Bob on Battlefield. So let's see how this thing works. See how they work. And you can see the Goombas are now red. And you can only imagine how much what you can do with this. If we can turn the Goombas red, we can turn the bob on, the chain chomp, the ground green. We can basically change the texture of anything. Let me show you how powerful this texture editing really is to the game. Because it doesn't have to be objects themselves. For example, let me go to the import other model. And in the last tutorial, I showed you how to edit backgrounds using the VR box, but now I'm going to show you something different. Like, obviously, you can change the paintings, too. But let's go to... Sorry, wrong file, but let's look at Yoshi. Sometimes it can be hard to find your way around this thing, but if we see the Yoshi model.bmd, basically you can edit textures to any BMD model. Let me export this as Yoshi All 16P. And you can also see that his head is not in this. So this is going to edit everything but his head.
And I'm going to make Yoshi... Let's make Yoshi uh, purple. Let's make him purple with... Uh, with, like, blue shoes or whatever. Let's save this as... Yoshi 16P new. Then after that's done, we're going to re-import the Yoshi texture and see if it works. So far, so good. Just X out of that. And now let's test it using DSMU. And you can see that Yoshi's body is now purple and blue, like we textured it. Obviously, his head isn't because his head is a separate model, but we just changed the color of his body just like that. And these Goombas and this grass. So, pretty useful tutorial today. We learned how to change textures of objects to make them more suitful for your hacking needs. And basically, you can just customize a lot of things about it. I mean, you can change the color of these coins, you can change the texture of the box. Basically, if you don't like how the colors or details look about something, you can just change it. Which is the great thing about this editor. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and learn something. So please check out some of my other tutorials and please comment, like, and subscribe.